Right, hello everybody. Um, this is a video to help anyone who's been having problems similar to myself with um, the M Audio Fast Track USB interface. Um, the problems I had were that uh, one, I've got Windows 7, um, so the drivers wouldn't install. And also, I found that Pro Tools Essentials that comes with the package um, basically didn't work too well, was not very intuitive, in my opinion, and I couldn't get the sound to be very clear. Um, so this video is about how to get the drivers sorted so that it works and uh, for Windows 7 and also um, how I would recommend using, if you don't want to spend any more money, using Audacity which is a free uh, package uh, for capturing sound and, and it was crystal clear once I did that. So I'll just go, go through quickly what I did to solve these problems for myself. Um, so first and foremost um, I typed this into Google and was able to find here with this hit that I could get the drivers still uh, that would work with Windows 7. I have Windows 7 64 bit. And if I scroll down, there, there's the one that I have, the Fast Track USB. And if I was to scroll down, there it is. So you can install the M Audio Fast Track 606.exe. You don't have to fill out all of this information, you can just click on that and get the, the drivers. They'll take a while to install, but when they did, um, everything on my computer that required um, audio input, the USB interface was working and I could select that for anything that's capturing audio. For example, at the moment I'm using the Hypercam just to do the screen capture and the audio capture and it, it was all there, um, all working fine. So that was the, the driver issue sorted. Um, and as I said, in my opinion, I felt that Pro Tools Essentials wasn't very good and the sound, I just couldn't get the sound to work. Um, so, I switched to Audacity. If you type it into Google, you'll find it here. You can download it to fr for free from SourceForge or other locations. And um, here it is here. And as I said, if you go here for the in mic input, there it is, the M Audio Fast Track. It was just there, ready to use, and uh, and, and worked like a dream. Um, now the other thing is just to make sure that the the sound comes through okay. Here's the Fast Track interface that I have. Um, I had the level up to about here because I'm only speaking, and if it was too loud, this peak would light up anyway. Uh, and whilst recording, you have to have the input all the way anti-clockwise anti to, to there. That's whilst you're recording. And when you're playing back to test your um, your, your sound, you have to uh, turn that all the way back to playback, otherwise you won't be able to hear anything. Okay, so that's uh, just worth noting. It was something that I struggled with as well. Uh, and just to give you an example of how you can record using Audacity, there's lots of tutorials on YouTube uh, on how to use this effectively, but it's very intuitive, as I said before. And let's just hit record. And you can see that it's capturing what I'm saying at the moment. Uh, and you'll find that when you test it, it comes through really clearly. Um, so I'll just stop that now. And let's say I wanted to just delete that little bit there. I'll just select it and press delete on my keyboard. That's how quick and easy it all is to use. And you can um, have new tracks and overlayer edit, cut little bits out. It's really, really useful. But the point, uh, the main point is that it just sounded very clear with Audacity, something it didn't do in Pro Tools Essentials. I'm sure it was just the settings I had and I could have perhaps played around with it a little bit more. But why? Because I've got Audacity anyway and it works like a dream. So if anyone's having any of those problems similar to myself, uh, that's just a little tutorial about how to get yourself going and how how you can get things moving. Um, use Audacity and your Fast Track USB interface will work so much better, in my opinion. Okay, thank you very much.